so we're inside the boat now and you're going right. to just show us around a little bit with so, the... So basically you can see, when, it used to be when you opened up these doors from the cabin, it was nothing but motor. You couldn't see anything but motor. And so all that stuff went away. And you can see, and the, the, there used to be a couple of runners that came forward of that, that little bulkhead there in the bilge. And I just trimmed those back all together because they, yeah. you know, they were chewed up anyway. And then I left, I left enough to actually bolt the motor to, um, you know, and it went in very, very simply and very cleanly. Um, I pulled, I don't even know, obviously 30 years of gunk out of the bilge. Yeah. Does, and, does the boat smell nicer? It doesn't. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, actually it doesn't smell like anything. It just yeah. smells, smells like, it no smells like outside. Oil. No diesel. You anything. know, it takes a while to get rid of that smell too. It does. It, it does. Into and the it, cushions and stuff. And right? I, um, you know, I, when I had everything out, I went ahead and painted the bilge in there, you know, painted, painted the, the, that whole area. So the whole thing is a whole lot cleaner. It's a lot nicer. Um, Take another look. Know, the wiring is pretty simple. Uh, you know, the, it, and I went ahead and used, you know, a bunch of big cables. Um, you know, I did everything in two watt. Um, again, just so I, you know, I'm not dealing with any losses. Um, and you know, you only have to buy the cables once. You know, yeah. so so when, you know, if somebody's thinking about, it, they're going, oh, I, you know, oh, two watt cable, it's expensive, and you know, every you know, every foot's just a, a little bit more. And you go, listen, you buy it once. It's gonna, it's, it will run this motor for, you know, longer than the boat floats, you know, so, so you don't have to, it's a stupid try, it's a stupid time to try to skimp. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. Two odd, we do everything with two odd. Right. Two, right. Yeah. You know, like why, why have a voltage drop? It, right. You're, you're chasing, a, a, you're chasing efficiency in every component. Like right. you said before, the yeah. serial equation, each, yeah. each component multiplied together for the, yeah. the total system efficiency. So yeah, so any little loss so, that you introduce, yeah. and if you're introducing a loss because you wanted to save 50 bucks, five years from now, you're not going to care about the $50, but you will care about the loss of efficiency. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> it's all about overbuilding them, you know? Yeah. yeah. And so. it's, and again, it, this thing will run all day long. Um, it doesn't have any sort of extra, uh, it doesn't have any extra fan or anything. It's just the cooling that's in the motor. And running at 80 amps, you know, I've run it for more than an hour and you put your hand on it and it's just warm. It's not hot. Mm -hmm. You know, I never get funky smells, electronic smells or anything like that. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty simple. And actually, you know, the kit as you gave me, other than trying to figure out where to put everything in the boat, just so that it would all, you know, be relatively clean. The whole thing is plug and play. You know, you, you provided all the cables with the right ends and things like that. And I told you the lengths and I actually... I kind of overestimated on some of the lengths, so I have extra cable that I've had to, you know, kind of manage. Um, could have done a better job of just making it. If I had known where everything was going to be first, then I could have made it, you know, totally just the wires would go exactly where they needed to go. More like when you buy a car at the, the, the car dealership, they don't have extra wire looped in anywhere, you know. Every, every piece of wire is exactly the length it needs. Um, but I was able, you know, the, the all the big two watt cables, you know, I custom made, and uh, uh, you know, I, I cut them to length, and uh, and you can see, I mean, it's a relatively clean installation. Oh, know, it's, it's great. You know, you know, uh, we've rebadged it, called the Mariner now. Okay. Yeah. All right. I hope you like that name. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, like you have it. a Mariner. There you go. <laughs> it's like the open frame drive. It's the one. Mm -hmm. It's the original that we've we've built for years and years yeah, and years. Yeah. Well, you know the uh, the the. Uh, the gearbox um, that's on it, you know, obviously is also very efficient. It doesn't it doesn't get hot, you know, running. Yeah. Um, and it uh, and it it's a key point. I know that some people try to run direct drive on these motors, and the only way you can do that is to run a very small, inefficient prop so that the motor can spin up to where it needs enough speed to where it can cool itself. But this is matched out perfectly. That you know, when I'm running at full throttle. The motor's spinning at the speed that it's designed to. Um, it's getting all the cooling that the you know that the engineers put in the motor to begin with, um, and it's in a big enough space. It's not it's not like stuffed yeah, in a little tiny yeah. box. It's in a big enough space that it's got ambient air around it. You know, so so I'm, I'm sure that's one of the reasons why my whole system runs cool. Um, but it's uh, you know the 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 gearbox gearbox is quiet. It's efficient and uh, and. And that was one where I think we did luck out is, is that, you know, we were guessing on, so how much reduction do we put to match this prop with this motor on this boat? 
because everything everything has that's to be taken true. into account, right? That's true. If the if the boat is more slippery, then you can you can get away with a lower gear ratio. Um, if the prop is slightly, I mean, there's all these factors, and so we we put it all together and said, all right, we'll try 2.55 to begin with, and knowing that that they have a whole bunch of other gear ratios, and we talked about the fact that we would actually try other gear ratios if if this didn't work out, you know, great. Um, and honestly, the results were really beyond my expectations to the point of, I don't think that there's any point in trying other gear ratios because I just don't see, I don't see it getting better, you know. It's, it's <clears throat> this is tops. It's really you know, tops. When you think about pushing a 30 foot boat at what, six knots and yeah. drawing, you know, five kilowatts or right. four, I think you're like, at four and a half or something, aren't you? Well, like yeah, less than five? Well, right around five to go six knots. Yeah. And, you know, so it's five kilowatts and you know, this is a 10,000 pound boat. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, it's a, this is, you know, it may be, you know, it, it's not big on the inside, but man, it's heavy. <laughs> sure it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's uh it's all right. It's, it's, it's gone, you know, it's gone, gone pretty well. And, uh, like I said, it's just changed, changed the way the boat is for me. Yeah. I love it too. You know, that's why I do it. So, yeah. you know, listen, thanks again. There. Sure. Here.